Welcome to Physics with Mr. Brazil. Um, this is a three-part series. We're going to be part, this is part two of the three-part series. Again, part two. And what we're going to be looking at is a hanging mass and the tension on that cord. What we want to know is what happens or what's the effect on that tension as an object moves upward and as it moving downward. What effects are occurring? So let's look at the math of this. So to start, you're going to have a cord. And let's put a, an object below. I'm going to use the 15.0 kilograms. At the center of mass, this is going to have, a for, due to force of gravity, a force downward. I'm going to call it Fg sub 15. And then we will have a tension that's upward. And in this case, this whole system, this whole system is moving upward. So therefore, it's going to have a sum of forces, okay, a net force that's going to be equal to the mass of the object. And we're assuming that the string is, uh, or the cord is massless for this um, exercise. So mass of 15, the mass of the object, times the acceleration of the whole system. So yeah, this is in the y direction, so the net force, or the sum of forces in y, is going to be equal to T minus Fg sub 15 equals the mass sub 15 times A, the acceleration. So let's give it an acceleration. Oh, A equals 2.00 meters per second squared. Okay, let's solve for T. We're going to add Fg sub 15 to both sides, and that means F15, mass uh, sub 15 times A minus, no, nope, plus Fg sub 15. So plus, because we're adding to both sides. I'm going to write the mathematical uh, equation of it. So sub 15 times A plus mass sub 15 times G. I'm going to factor out. The 15, so this is going to be 15.0 kilograms times the 2.00 meters per second squared plus 9.80 meters per second squared, the acceleration here on planet Earth. And what will this give us? Well, let's pull out the calculator and take a look. So um, that's going to be 15 times 11.8. 80, I mean, so 177 newtons, 177 newtons, and that's your answer. Now, let's take a different slant. What happens if we're now lowering the object so it's in, its motion is in the downward direction? Well, I'm going to change this right here and show you what the downward direction. So let's say we have a downward direction, so the sum of the system now will be a negative 15 mi uh, m sub 15, the mass, times its acceleration. Since it's a downward force, so the sum of this force will now be negative. So let's erase this and change this around and see what math we'll get. So what we'll have is the negative mass of 15 times A plus, because I'm going to add the gravitational force on both sides due to gravity, sub 15. Now we're going to have M sub 15 A plus the mass of the object times G. I, this time I'm going to pull out the 15 again like I did before. Okay, negative 2.00 meters per second squared plus the 9.80 meters per second squared. Okay, and so in this case, we're going to have 7.80 times the 15. So let's see what that will give us times 7.80. So 117. So this time we get 117 newtons. So that seems kind of strange. Well, if you're, uh, 
if you think about this, you're going to exert a greater force because you're pulling up on the object and gravity is pulling down. Now on the downward side, you get a little bit of an assist. You're going in the same direction as the force of gravity. So it's going to be a little less tension on the cord. So um, let's change the system up. Let's add another box to this system or another object and see what that's going to give us. We got tension. Okay. And let's make this the 15.0 kilograms. I'm going to call this T2 because I'm going to put a second object down here and I'm going to make it 10.0 kilograms. And this is going to be tension one. Now, let's make this whole system work itself downward. See, the tension's still upward, upward for both. So this whole system is moving downward. So the total mass of this system times the acceleration is the net force for this system. Now here's the trick. You're going to wonder, how do I get tension one? Because it's in between here. It's, uh, if I do the sum, I'm going to have two tensions. Let's take a look at this. First, there are subsystems or subforces, uh, systems of forces. So let's take this smaller one. Since it's moving at the same acceleration, A, let's isolate this, OK? And since it's going downward, we're going to, this total system will be the mass times the particular acceleration that we're going to choose. So let's do that. So the net force in the y direction for 1 is going to equal to tension 1 minus the force of gravity on the object sub 10 equals the mass of sub 10, meaning this 10 kilogram object, times A. So we'll keep A at 2.00 meters per second squared. OK. Now let's solve for T1. So that's going to be, oh, and this is negative. Let's not forget this object is moving downward. So we stated that it's moving downward. So therefore, this is negative. So that will be negative. M sub 10, A, plus FG sub 10, OK? And since we've already seen the steps, I'm going to pull out um, the 10.0 kilograms. It's going to be times negative 2.0 meters per second squared plus the 9.80 meters per second squared. OK, that's coming from this math. And let's see what value we're going to get. Get the candy dandy calculator. So 10 times uh, 7.8. Oh, come on. 78. Knew that. OK. 78.0 newtons. OK. So that's the tension on 1. Now, let's find the tension on 2. So in this case, what we'll do is we're going to look at this whole system. What's nice about this, we, the tension on one actually disappears. And so we're just looking at this system. So this will be the sum of y for two for, this, for the whole system. It's going to be equal to t2. This guy zeroes itself out. It's gone. Minus. Now, we have F sub G 10 minus F sub G 15, OK? And that's going to be equal to the negative of the total mass of both times the acceleration. So algebra-wise, T2, I'm going to add both to, I'm going to add these two to both sides. So this is going to be minus F sub 15, A, plus FG 10, plus FG sub 15. And 
Now I could bring these two together for factoring. So 15A plus M15G plus M, let's rewrite that for you, 10G. Okay, um, there could be a little bit of factoring if need be. I'm just going to write it all out so that it can be seen. So 15.00 kilograms times, and this is negative, 2.0 meters per second squared plus 15.0 kilograms, um, 9.800 meters per second squared plus 10.0 kilograms times 9.80 meters, 8 meters per second squared. Let's do the math. So negative 15, 2 plus 15 times 9.8 plus 10 times 9.8, add it all up. And this is going to equal to 2.15, 2, 215, 215 newtons. So a lot more uh, tension on the way down. But this is how you would calculate it. You break it into little pieces to solve for these. Um, if it was a two-string situation, and at equal distance, we do that in part one. Um, the setup wouldn't change. And in this case, you would be putting a two over here, and this gets divided by two in the long run. So that would be for a two chord system. Um, enjoy your physics, and I hope this helps. And check uh, the link below for Part three, which will be uh, chords and at different angles and using component vectors.